Hello there, this is Esteban from Gohitsu Shorter Studio and this quick video that I wanted to put together is to show you guys how you can write Japanese on your computer. It's basically uh, unlocking your keyboard so you can input kanji and use it on your computer. Uh, so I'm running a Mac with the latest version of OS 10, so you can follow these procedures if you have a system similar to this. So let's go down here to the dock and you'll find system preferences. and you have to go to keyboard under hardware and then you gotta click here on input sources so this list here that we're gonna scroll down on the left this is all the um, languages that OS 10 has that you can click and unlock the keyboard and you can write in this specific language uh, so if you speak any of these languages you can go ahead and do that also but we're gonna find Japanese which is this one right here called Kotoeri We'll click on this. I want to make sure that also our click hiragana, katakana, and romaji. Those are the alphabets that you're going to be using to do your Japanese writing in your computer so you can uh, input your characters. Also down here you want to make sure that says show input menu in menu bar. That That's also click. So we're going to close this up and then that's so up here on the menu bar next to the uh, bat in between the battery and the date there's a there's a US flag up there and that's where your icon is gonna be to change your input and I'm gonna click on it right now I have US I have US international that's the one that I'm using right now I also have Spanish and I have my three Japanese uh, alphabet that I just clicked I just chose um, so this is what you're going to use when you want to write Japanese in your computer so to show you how to do that I'm gonna go here and click hiragana because we'll use that alphabet to choose my kanjis and to give you an example, I'm gonna go over here and open pages, uh, just blank document. Okay, so let's see if I have a document right here, and I want I'm gonna write um, one of the um, uh, phrases that I like to brush a lot in my Japanese calligraphy, which is uh, "Every day is a good day," and it's called uh, it's, it's "Nichi Nichi Korekujutsu." So I'm gonna start writing Nichi. Okay, and as you can see right now, as I start typing Nichi in my keyboard, it's starting to choose the hiragana equivalent of that. So these two characters here on the hiragana is Nichi. And if I hit the space bar, it's going to give me the kanji. Now, if I keep hitting the space bar, it's gonna give me other uh, options for kanji. But I have two syllabus. I have ni and I have chi. So it's giving me kanjis for ni and it's going to give me kanjis for chi. Uh, because the computer doesn't really know what I wanted to write. I know that I, I am the one who needs to know what word I want to write. So to do this, you do need to have some basic knowledge of Japanese and what the kanji that you want to write uh, looks like and is pronounced. So. I know the kanji for what I'm looking for for my phrase uh, is Nichi which means day and that was the first one that the computer chose me uh, so that's the one that I want I'm gonna click enter okay and now it chose that one so I'm gonna do it again because the phrase is Nichi Nichi so I'm gonna write Nichi again okay oops Nichi and then I'm gonna go Kore because this is the next one which is that one okay and ko, which is that one I chose, and jitsu again. Whoops, jitsu again. Okay, so that's how I write my phrase Nichi Nichi Kore Kujitsu. Every day is a good day. So I do know what kanjis I want because I know how to write the phrase and I know that that's the exact kanji. But again, it could be many kanji. So, for example, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna choose the third kanji, which is kore. If I write Kore and I hit the space bar, it's going to give me that option, uh, which happens to be the correct one that I want. But it can also, I keep hitting the space bar, it's going to give me a couple more options. So other kanjis are pronounced Kore. Um, so again, you do need to know what kanjis you are looking for. But if you open up your keyboard and then you can type in um, in Hiragana and you can find the word that you want using the Hiragana. So this is great if you are looking for using uh, in your website, if you need to write some Japanese in your website. So let's say you have a dojo and you need to write your dojo name in your website 
or if you have some, you know, anything, anything that you need some Japanese characters in it, this is how you would open up the keyboard in your computer uh, so you can do the input and then write Japanese on it. Um, another uh, great thing that this, let me just get out of here first, but another thing that this is great for is to use a Japanese uh, dictionary online or use Google Translate uh, to be able to translate stuff from Japanese to English or Japanese to whatever language that you want but I like to use these Japanese uh, online dictionaries called Tangorin and here it gives you a couple of, of options on the top but I'm going to choose Kanji and on the bottom where it says search I can do the input of whatever Kanji I'm looking for uh, so if, if I'm looking for the Kanji again let's say Kanji Nichi so I'm going to write Nichi and I'm gonna hit the space bar so it chooses the kanji that I want. And let's say I want to just search this kanji and what's fine, what's the meaning of it. So here is the dictionary, it gives me what you know the with the kanji that I wrote, and it gives me the pronunciation, gives me the meaning, and it gives me a couple, you know, some other information like how to write it and some uh, examples on how to use it in some words. So it's great that if you if you know how to pronounce the kanji, and you can find. Let's say you know how to pronounce the kanji, but you don't know you don't really know what it means. So you go, you in write it, find it on that list that it comes up when you when you hit the space bar. Find the kanji that you are looking for because you know how to pronounce it. Go to the dictionary and there you have the the meaning and then you know what that means and how to write it and things like that. So that's what I think is very helpful and I use it a lot for my website uh, because I write a lot of Japanese stuff in my website and then that's how I do the input. So if you have a Mac and you can um, uh, if you want to be able to write some Japanese or if you're learning Japanese and you want to write hiragana, you want to write katakana or you want to write kanji, uh, this is how you unlock your keyboard. So. Uh, you can write Japanese on your computer. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so so you can get notified for all the other videos that I have coming up soon regarding Japanese calligraphy, uh, Zen, Aikido, martial arts, uh, all that kind of stuff that I like to post uh, on the channel. If you haven't checked out the website, go to gohisushorestudio.com. Tons of information there about Japanese calligraphy, and there are some a couple of Japanese uh, original Japanese calligraphy on Chikishi boards that I did uh, recently that are up for sale at the store section of the um, of the store so please check that out also as usual thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video